In the quest for muscle, many turn to the gym, lifting heavy and pushing beyond their limits. But what if I told you the secret to strength can be found in the simplicity of your own body weight? The humble push-up, an exercise often overlooked, could be your gateway to remarkable muscle growth. But the million dollar question remains, how many push-ups do you need to do each day to actually see growth? In this video, we're taking a methodical approach that's backed by science and tailored to your unique fitness journey. Join us as we unravel the secrets behind the optimal number of push-ups for muscle growth, the pitfalls to avoid derailing your progress, and how to strategically incorporate this exercise into your routine for maximum effect. Your journey to redefining strength and sculpting muscle starts right now. But before we dive into the nitty gritty, it's important to have a basic understanding of the science of building muscle and how it all works. At the heart of muscle building lies a fascinating biological phenomenon known as muscular hypertrophy. In simpler terms, hypertrophy is the process of increasing the size of your muscle cells as a result of physical training. As you lower and lift your body during a push-up, you place stress on your muscle fibers resulting in tiny micro tears. But before you freak out, these micro tears are actually crucial in starting the muscle building process. You see, as your body starts to repair these micro tears, it doesn't just patch things up to their original state, it rebuilds them to become stronger and larger than before, preparing you to handle even greater challenges. This is where progressive overload comes into play, which in the context of push-ups basically means gradually increasing the amount of resistance or the number of push-ups you do over time. By consistently challenging yourself, whether by doing more reps, trying out different variations, or even adding more weight, your muscles never get too comfortable with the same intensity, laying the foundation for increased strength and growth. But how do you apply this knowledge to your push-up routine? Well, I can tell you that it's not about doing hundreds of push-ups right off the bat. It's about starting where you are, recognizing your body's signals, and introducing those new challenges. Whether you're a 10, 20, or even 50 push-ups a day kind of person, understanding the science of muscle growth and progressive overload will ultimately guide you to build strength and redefine your whole body. Why push-ups? Well, push-ups hold the power to sculpt your physique, transforming your body into a testament of strength and endurance. But what makes them so special? Firstly, push-ups are the ultimate no equipment exercise. You can do them literally anywhere. Whether it is at a park or in the comfort of your home, push-ups are the ultimate exercise for flexibility and convenience, making it easier to stick to your fitness goals even when life gets busy. Moreover, push-ups target muscle groups simultaneously, making it the perfect compound exercise to strengthen your upper body. Your chest muscles, the pectorals, bear the brunt of the work, carving out definition and strength. Your shoulders, the deltoids, enhance your upper body silhouette. The triceps add power to your arms and let's not forget, by engaging your abdominal muscles with each repetition, you lay the foundation for stability and balance. The versatility of push-ups are unmatched, offering different variations to target these muscle groups in different ways. From the standard knee push-ups for beginners to more challenging counterparts like the diamond or decline push-ups, each variation adds a new layer of intensity, ensuring that your muscles never plateau. Determining your starting point. The path to building muscle and enhancing strength is not a one-size-fits-all. It's a personal journey that starts with understanding your current fitness level and the paramount importance of form over quantity. This isn't just about counting how many push-ups you can do, it's about performing each one with precision. Why? Because in the realm of fitness, quality reigns supreme over quantity. Focusing on form ensures that every muscle is engaged correctly, reducing the risk of injury and maximizing the benefits of the exercise. It's about building a strong foundation, one push-up at a time, ensuring that your body is aligned, your core is engaged, and your movements are smooth and controlled. Now, understanding your current fitness level isn't about setting limitations, it is about charting a course for growth. Begin by evaluating your current ability to perform push-ups with proper form. Can you do a full push-up or is a modified version more your speed? Whatever stage you are at, acknowledging your starting point is the first step towards progress. This could mean beginning with knee push-ups, incline push-ups, or even wall push-ups. Each of these modifications acts as a stepping stone towards the standard push-up and even more challenging variations. As we navigate through the complexities of muscle building with push-ups, the question emerges, how many push-ups should you actually do for muscle growth? Well, the answer depends on a range of factors like your overall fitness level, size, age, and gender. So there is no real way to determine this. 
There is a lot of talk that the only way to build muscle is to lift heavy, and many people consider a bodyweight exercise, like push-ups, to be pointless because they won't make any gains from lifting a lighter load, so to speak, which is not exactly true. In fact, a 2016 study demonstrating the impact of light versus heavy weight on muscle activation found that the group who lifted lighter weight for 20 to 25 reps gained an equal amount of muscle compared to those who lifted heavier for 8 to 12 reps. This finding directly relates to the practice of push-ups, which inherently uses a lighter load while being performed in a higher rep range. The number of push-ups you should do varies depending on your skill level. For beginners, the aim should be building a solid foundation, both in terms of strength and form. Start with two to three sets of as many push-ups as you can do. Now this might be challenging for some, and even if you can only manage a handful of reps, it's about gradually increasing the number as your body adapts. If you can perform 10 to 15 push-ups comfortably, try increasing the sets you perform, while also increasing your rep volume to 20 push-ups as an example. You should also integrate variations to target different muscle groups like wide or close grip push-ups. Now for those advanced individuals who can perform more than 20 push-ups, to make things more challenging, try adding different variations, increasing the frequency and integrating additional resistance to push the envelope of what's possible. Research has also shown that performing different variations of push-ups is just as important as the amount you're doing. A 2016 study compared muscle activation in push-up exercises in a narrow, neutral and wide position. The results demonstrated that specific muscle groups were activated in certain width positions compared to others. For example, pectoralis major activity was greater with push-ups at more of a neutral width compared to more narrow and wider positions. This study serves as a reference to apply different variations to your training. Frequency and recovery. Now that you have an idea on the number of push-ups you should do and the importance of different variations, should you perform this exercise every day? The answer is a big no, and I'll explain. Muscles strengthen and grow during recovery, so it's important to incorporate rest days into your routine. Without adequate rest, the work becomes unsustainable, leading to the risk of injury and diminishing returns. The general consensus amongst experts suggests a frequency of two to four times per week, but this will depend on your level of fitness and what you're aiming for. But if you're constantly feeling sore after your workout, having trouble sleeping or noticing reduced strength, it might be a sign that you're overexerting yourself and may need to take a step back from your overall training. Rest days shouldn't be taken as a sign of weakness. They should be seen as an opportunity for your body to recover so that you can continue to make gains. Integrating push-ups into a full workout routine. While push-ups are a convenient exercise that can be done anywhere, they are not the only exercise you should perform for growth. You need to combine this with other strength exercises that target different muscle groups to promote overall growth like pull-ups, squats, and deadlifts. This holistic approach ensures that your body develops evenly, reducing the risk of imbalances and injuries. But you shouldn't just rely on exercise alone to build muscle. The role of nutrition in muscle building is a foundational pillar that supports every push-up. A balanced diet rich in lean proteins, complex carbohydrates, and healthy fats paired with hydration and micronutrients is necessary for optimal muscle recovery and growth. It's about nourishing your body with the quality and variety it needs to thrive under the demands of your workout. We'll look to dive deeper into the benefits of push-ups in a future video, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on our content. If you thought this video was epic, dive into these two videos next, where we unlock more secrets to supercharging your muscle gains. Also, don't forget to share your push-up milestones in the comments below. Until next time, keep pushing yourself and I'll catch you in the next one.